So I have a very sort of interesting creative background and what I've been doing for the last number of years in addition to being a writer and producer is really focusing on helping develop kind of interactive marketing campaigns for movies, television shows and the like. So I was working with a company and one morning while I was getting ready for work I happened to be watching the Today Show and they had this story about uh, a dolphin who had been caught in a crab trap in South Florida and they had managed to rescue it but it was badly injured it had severe lacerations to its dorsal fin and the expectation was that it wasn't necessarily going to survive and that was sort of you know the initial part of the story and they said that a team of scientists were sort of trying to figure out the way that they could help it survive and that there was even discussion about the development of a prosthetic tail. Now I immediately thought wow that's a great idea for a film so I went into the company that I was working with the at the time I was working on Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants Part 2 we had our meeting and at the end of the meeting I said hey can I pitch you guys a movie idea real quick and everyone sort of collectively rolled their eyes because I was more the marketing guy and they said okay go ahead and I proceeded to tell them the story and by the end of it they're like oh wow that really is an amazing story uh, you'll produce it with us and we'll find someone to go ahead and write it and I thought well no actually I'd like to write it which everyone collectively was like well do you even know how to write so I submitted some script samples and they surprisingly and, and very graciously said you know we'd like to hire you to develop the story further and then write the first two drafts so that process began and you know the development of, anyone can tell you that the development of film is something that can on average take five to seven years so we went through I wrote a first draft and right around that same time the Writers Guild strike of 2007 happened so it was the proverbial pens down or, or fingers off keyboard if you will so for a while we couldn't really do anything on the project the Writers Guild strike ended I came back I wrote a second draft feeling very kind of chest puffed out high and mighty and then of course the typical Hollywood thing happens we're gonna bring in another writer and that of course you know, for your first big screenplay is a little discouraging. It was uh, the writer of Free Willy 2. Um, so they felt that that was going to add some, you know, uh, mammal, um, marine mammal based pedigree to it, so to speak. Um, and she proceeded to write two drafts that made the material much darker. Um, they sort of put the project in turnaround for a little while, and that's a term that basically means they're not sure whether they're going to continue developing or not. Long story short, 11 drafts and six writers later they finally came back to me uh, I did a little bit more work on it and then the process in Hollywood when a bunch of writers have sort of put their paws on material so to speak is that it goes through an arbitration and that was a long and laborious process as well but in the end of, of it three a panel of three judges who didn't know who any of us were and we didn't know who they were either determined that myself and one other writer were the sole writers of the final finished product in a way. So, it's sort of a long process that started in 2006 and then the movie came out in 2011. Thank you for listening. Please review our other available content for help writing, publishing, and marketing your book. If you have any questions about the Author Learning Center, please contact us by email at authorsupport at authorlearningcenter.com.